and MGF 1106. And uh, if you're watching online, uh, you know, I invite you to uh, enter a question or a comment. Uh, and I've got a technician here who will uh, relay that message to me and I can answer your questions. Um, no one is here with us today uh, in our actual live session. So um, what I'll do is I'll just give a couple of definitions that I've been working here for a while, um, helping people with uh, math and particularly with probability. And I know that there's uh, you know, several, several things that uh, present uh, uh, confusion to students. And so what I'd like to start off with is just what is probability? And it always seemed like a mystery to me for a real long time as a math teacher. And, and uh, even though I had gone to college uh, and got a math teaching degree and had been teaching for a few years, I was really confused as to what is probability because it always seemed like sort of a mystery to me. So um, I had a godfather who was a math teacher and I asked him what probability was and he said, uh, very calmly, he said, Greg, uh, probability is a fraction. Now, I know that probably freaks a lot of people out because you, know, you think fractions and everybody's got this fraction fear. But um, that's what, if you understand that and get past that fraction fear, probability is a fraction. And by that, I mean, uh, you know, when we have a fraction, we write a a fraction bar and the number on the top of the fraction bar for probability is the number of successful outcomes. So that's the numerator of the fraction, the number on top is the number of successful outcomes. The denominator, or the number on the bottom of the fraction, is the total number of possible outcomes. So, probability is a fraction, the numerator is the number of successful outcomes, or the number of ways to be successful, and the denominator is the total number of possible outcomes. A real simple example is if you flip a coin, the outcome could either be heads or tails, and the probability of getting a heads On one flip of a coin, it's a fraction. The denominator is usually the easiest one to figure out um, because when we flip a coin, uh, there's two possible outcomes. Only two. It could either be heads or tails, so that'd be two possible outcomes. Uh, the numerator is the number of ways to be successful. And since there's only one head, probability of getting heads on one flip of the coin is one over two, one half, or uh, 0.5, or 50%. And probabilities are sometimes given as percentages or as decimal numbers. So um, <clears throat> another example might be rolling a die a six-sided die. Uh, for instance, uh, some of you have probably played Monopoly, and you have a six-sided die, uh, a cube that has dots on each side. And uh, the probability of on one roll of a die of getting a three. Well, 
It's a fraction. The denominator is the total number of possible outcomes. Well, on a six-sided die, there's six outcomes. It could be a one, a two, a three, a four, a five, or a six. And of those possible outcomes, there's only one way to be successful, and that is to roll a three. So that would be one out of six. So this is a basic concept. Um, it's real important to understand when we're dealing with probability. Um, in these two examples, it's real easy to count the number of total possible outcomes and the number of ways to be successful. Uh, some uh, problems are a little bit more complicated. Uh, there's different ways to count. You can use the fundamental counting principle or you know, permutations or combinations. So, but it all basically boils down to understanding that a fraction is what a probability is. Now, the least number that a fra that fraction can equal is zero. And the greatest number that that fraction could be is one. So, Probability could be greater than or equal to zero, and at the same time, less than or equal to one. Notice that both one half and one sixth are between zero and one. Now, probability, if a probability is equal to zero, that means it is guaranteed not to happen. It's impossible to happen. A probability that's equal to 1 is an event that is guaranteed to happen. So, probability is a way of expressing the relative likelihood of an event occurring. Um, well, that's going to wrap it up for today. Uh, this basic notion of what uh, probability is. Remember, probability is just a fraction. It's the number of successful outcomes over the total number of outcomes possible. Come visit us at the Learning Commons. Uh, exams are coming up. I know that some of you that are in 1106 are going to have an opportunity to retake uh, your exam or the test, the unit test that you had, the worst score on, and replace it with a better grade. And we're here to help you. And I hope uh, you have a great rest of the semester and look forward to seeing you. Thank you a lot. Bye. Very good. Hi, even Very good. I hate probability. That's one. Uh,